Andre Taylor was sidelined by COVID back in the spring. The married father of four spent more than a month in the hospital, but new problems cropped up after he returned home. Problems that landed him back in the hospital requiring surgery for a potentially life-threatening heart condition. Staffers at MedStar Washington Hospital Center lined the hallway to celebrate. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Andre Taylor was finally heading home. The D.C. restaurant manager spent 38 days in the hospital, most of it hooked up to a ventilator as he battled COVID-19. He says it started with a high fever and then went downhill fast. It hit me like a ton of bricks. And when I went to the hospital center, they uh, took my vitals and said, your heartbeat was going 160 beats a minute. We can't put you back out there. Immediately, they rushed me to the back, and 10 minutes later, I was in a coma. When I went into a coma, it was like um, the, the COVID death count in the U.S. was like 120 people. I woke up, it was 24,000. I asked the nurse, I was like, what happened? And then she told me the date, and I was like, it's April? When Andre left the hospital, he thought the worst was over. But months after recovering from COVID, he started experiencing new symptoms. I developed this uh, flutter in my heart, and that was keeping me from being active of any sort. That flutter was atrial fibrillation, or AFib. He says it was exhausting and frightening. One of the things that we're starting to observe in our patients is as a result of the coronavirus, they're having inflammation in their cardiac tissue inside of their hearts. Dr. And Cyrus Haddadi is a cardiac electrophysiologist at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. He says that inflammation can infiltrate the heart's electrical system, causing an abnormal heartbeat. How does a respiratory virus have that kind of effect on your heart? We think part of it is because the lungs are so close to the heart inside the chest that the disease in the lungs can directly spread into the sac surrounding the heart, the pericardium, and then from there into the heart tissue itself. Because the coronavirus is so new, doctors are just beginning to learn about the long-term impact and the heart damage it can cause, even weeks or months after the infection clears. For Andre, the solution was surgery. In September, he had an ablation, a minimally invasive procedure that uses radio frequency energy, similar to microwave heat, to destroy the damaged heart tissue that's causing the problem. It worked. And immediately when I walked home, I even felt better. Like I ran up the flight of steps. I was like, wait a minute, I ain't been able to do that. I'm 51, but I've always felt like I was 25. But I came out that hospital feeling like I was 75. I had to learn how to walk again. So I will say since my surgery, I, I feel like I'm my age now. I'm getting back. I'm happy to tell you that Andre is doing great now. In fact, I spoke to him less than three weeks after he had that heart surgery. Doctors believe a significant number of patients will develop irregular heart rhythms after a bout with COVID. And they don't know why it happens to some people and not to others. Wendy, uh, this is one of the long, possible long-term side effects that uh, President Trump's doctors will be watching out for. And that's why we have to, uh, this is not something to play around with. No. We really have to take this thing seriously, even this far into it. Uh, when people are not, some people don't have any symptoms, it's still not something you want to take lightly. Keep this wearing the masks. Stuff. Yes. Keep wearing the masks. Absolutely. And staying away Absolutely. from people.